In this series, Basics with Eric, we've been talking about mostly the right hand, how to hold the bow, how to get a good grip, how to get a good sound out of our bow. In this video, we're gonna talk about finger placement on the string. So that way you get a nice solid sound with good intonation. Stick around, you don't wanna miss this. Hi there, my name is Eric, I'm a violinist. Thanks so much for coming across this channel. I do a lot of how-to tutorials, product reviews, and tips. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications for when you get notified for future videos. Fingertip placement. That is key in understanding how to get a nice sound. We've talked about the bow being a part of that sound, but it also comes from the left hand. So in this video, we're gonna talk about finger placement. So you notice that on the strings, I'm, on my violin that I'm holding up right here, the violin, the string, I'm not using my finger all the way in the middle. You see how the, my nail kind of goes through the middle of my finger as if there's a straight line here. Typically, when you place a finger on a string, it's towards the left side of the finger. In this case, it'll be your right as you're watching the video. But as you look at the violin, it's gonna be on the left side. And there are a couple of reasons for this. Number one, we have the bone that we want to make sure that we avoid because that could also cause future injuries and we don't want that. But we're also getting a lot of flesh on the side of the finger, on the side of the fingertip, so to be very specific. So as you're placing your finger down on the string, you want to make sure you're putting it on the left side of your fingertip, not in the center, just because you'll have more comfort as you play through time. Another thing to look out for is that when you put your finger, the middle of your finger onto the string, you're actually going to create some tension throughout time. And also it's easier if you put on the side of the fingers, first, second, third, fourth finger. So you want to make sure that you're playing with the least amount of tension as possible. You know, with violin playing, I was told by a mentor that playing the violin is also about releasing tension where there's tension buildup. And sometimes with our left hand, they can get really tired, it can get really cramped. So this is one way to kind of combat that issue without having to struggle when you're playing the violin. Another question you might be asking yourself is, do I do this not only in first position, but everything above first position? So second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth position. And the answer is, Kind of. Depending on how big your hand is how, or how small your hand is, you might not gravitate to the left side of your finger once you go upwards of fourth position just because you're already doing a lot of, you know, putting your elbow underneath so that way you can really, really get to the note. But what you want to do essentially is do your best. You know, if you want to, you can even tell that the moment I press down, you see this white fleshy skin when I press down on the string. And again, the, moment, the more I press, the more tension is going to build up, not just on my finger and my hand, but it's going to go up my arm. It's going to provide a lot of discomfort. There you have it. Here's a quick video of how to put your finger on the fingerboard. Again, finger placement is really important because you want to make sure you're putting the finger down in the right spot. You don't wanna do it right in the middle because that'll create a lot of tension going up. The finger down the wrist and into your arm, but to the side right here. So where you have a lot more flesh to work with. You have a lot more meat of your finger to really work with. This is also another important aspect as we head later on in the series when we come to vibrato. And of course, with vibrato, you want your hand and your fingers to be as relaxed as possible. But in order to get to vibrato, we need to make sure that we get this sorted out early on. If you like this video, it would mean the world to me if you subscribed and hit the bell notifications. That helps me as a content creator to create more videos, more violin videos, more product reviews for you. So please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, and stick around for the next installment of Basics with Eric.